You're listening to Tim Bulkley's Five Minute Bible. The Bible in Five Minutes. The Story. So, the Bible's a library in two parts. The Old Testament shared with Jews. Same books shared, except that Catholics and Orthodox Christians add a few extra books. Tells of God's appointing of one people, blessed by a special relationship with God, to be a blessing to all people. And the story of persistent human failure to live up to this calling. The second part of the library, the New Testament, tells the story of Jesus from four different points of view and then extends that story into the church as the gospel spreads across the known world. In both testaments there are other books, as well as the stories, that reflect on and celebrate what we read in the core story. So, taking the two parts together, the core story of the Bible runs from the garden of creation through to the city of the new earth. The Bible begins in the Pentateuch, five books telling the creation of humanity, humans and the world in a mess, various non-solutions, the choice of one family, the promise of land, offspring and blessing to bless others, the loss of land to slavery and to Pharaoh, freedom from slavery to Pharaoh, a covenant with God and the rules that go along with it. Then various history books continue the story from Joshua to the end of the Hebrew kingdoms. There's also a collection that we call the writings, a mix of poetry, wisdom and other stories that reflect on the big story and a whole load of books that we lump together as prophecy which preach the covenant God's involvement in history and promise redemption to come and in places look forward to the new heaven and the new earth when all will be restored to the way God dreamt it could be at creation the New Testament is full of early Christian writings making sense of what it means for us that Jesus came that God became incarnate in Jesus and died and rose again for us the Gospels tell the story from four different viewpoints as I've said and Acts continues that story as this good news is preached around the Roman Empire then there are a whole load of letters, lots of them by Paul one anonymous, one claiming to be by James, Jesus' brother two by Peter and three by someone called John and another by Jude, the brother of James some of these are written with particular addressees but others seem to be circular letters or even perhaps other kinds of document dressed up as a letter but between them we get a vivid picture of life in the early church and its struggles and squabbles and then finally in the book of Revelation there's a vision of trouble, disaster and the end of this world with the promise of a better life beyond that's the story of the Bible it begins with creation it begins with a garden planted by God and with human rebellion it carries on through stories disgusting, bloody and inspiring all jumbled together because that's what human life is like the great heroes are not painted as superhuman but revealed warts and all as Cromwell was later to su suggest and then well after the middle of the Bible but in the middle of the story comes Jesus a human being who reveals God perfectly remember we are all called to be created as the image of God and obeys God implicitly and as a result is crucified by other humans and rises to new life pointing the way to a new humanity who are the forerunners of the new creation the new heaven and the new earth that's the story of the Bible in five minutes
Bye for now.